Hey guys, this is Chubbs back again with the Doom Builder 2 tutorial, and this one's going to follow up on the 3D floors. This time you're going to learn how to make 3D slopes. And what a 3D slope is, is a uh, basically a 3D floor that slopes. So you can think of it as like a floating slope. And this allows for your architecture to get even, even more advanced. Uh, this is a feature right now that only works in GZ Doom. So if you're using uh, Z Doom, no matter what version, this feature is not supported, and you uh, unfortunately will not see these in your maps. This is also uh, a feature that's available with Skull Tag as well. So I have a, a real basic setup here. What I'm going to do is go into the visual mode and just show you what I've got going. Right now, I have a 3D floor that's already in place. You can see it here. It's just a basically a floating cube. And I've put a shadow underneath it to make it uh, look a little bit more realistic. Outside of here I just have a standard dummy sector that's creating this floor. And right here I just have a just a regular square sector that I have raised out of the ground. Now what I want to do with this uh, map here is I want to have a 3D slope that leads up to this platform and then I want to have a 3D slope that leads from this platform up to this platform and I want you to be able to be able to walk underneath both slopes so let's go ahead now and start to create our first 3D slope so just like with a regular slope you'll begin by drawing the shape of the slope I'm gonna make this a uh, a long thin slope and now is when we're going to do something uh, a little bit different than when you would just create a regular 3D floor so the the first thing that's sort of strange about creating 3D slopes is in my experience I found that you want to create a dummy sector that is the exact same length as this slope and that is also aligned on the grid with it so for example what we're going to do is look where it's at down here, go up just above it out, out on the grid, just in this void space, and create a little rectangle that is exactly as long as it and uh, horizontally is lined up perfectly with it. If you don't do this, some strange things can really happen with it. The, the width of it like this doesn't matter so much but if you uh, make it shorter than what it is or if you make it even longer it some odd things will happen so now that we have created this let's go ahead and assign it a, a 3d floor tag so you can go to any any line here I like to use one of the longer sides right click it and give it an action of 160 and since I've already used one four for the uh, other the one tag for the other 3D floor I showed you, I'm going to use the second tag. So I'll put two for my tag, and I'm going to make this one solid, and I'm going to type 255 for alpha to make it totally, uh, totally solid so you won't be able to see through it. So now let's just go back and give this slope a tag of two. And let's look what we have so far. So we now have a 3D floor that's connected to this platform. Just like with any 3D floor, you know, you can select both the floor and the ceiling, move it up or down. But right now, instead of manipulating this, let's set it back down to where it was. And let's, uh, let's go in, in another direction to make this a slope. So go right back into 2D Editor and go to your dummy sector here. And wherever the platform is, on, on whichever side the platform is, you'll create a tiny square on the end of this dummy sector connected to it. So, for example here, the platform we want to connect to is on this side. So I'm going to create just a tiny square here on this side and connect it to it, just like that. And now, go to the uh, double-sided line right here that connects the two right click it and give it an action of 181 and this will be your slope action and set both the floor and the ceiling to front 
and just click OK. And the reason I selected front is because the peg is in the middle of this line and the, that means that the front faces out this way. So now that we have done that, let's go ahead and go back into visual mode and we can begin to create our 3D slope. So first things first, what I like to do is go over here to this tiny square section and set its floor and ceiling so that it matches up with the platform's base. You can stay out here at the dummy sector and use it to help you align it. You can see out there my platform is changing. And now I'm going to select the uh, ceiling along with the floor, lower it down just a little bit. And now we have it aligned with the base of the platform. However, as you can see, we still don't have the slope that we want. We want a slope that goes down and that you can walk under and on and up like a ramp. So let's go back into our dummy sector. Let's select the ceiling here and let's slope it downwards. And if you look out here, you can see it happening in real time. And here we have a like a step. You can leave it like this if you want to, but I'm going to make mine dig into the ground. So select the floor, scroll down just a little bit, and then select the ceiling, scroll down just a little bit, and now it's sort of dug into the ground, and we have successfully created our first 3D slope. You can walk underneath it here, or you can walk up it to access this platform. And I'm just going to texture it. I'm going to make it look sort of like a metal slope, so I'm going to go find a metal texture. I'll just use one of these. I'll just use Slime 14. And I'm just going to go through and apply this texture all over this. This, of course, is just an optional step. And our slope is just about complete. Now, since there's a, a, an area underneath it that the slope covers, I'm going to make it look a little bit more realistic by going over to the dummy sector here and lowering the light value. And if you look over to the right, you can see the light changing there too. And then if we go back out, it, we've now created a realistic shadow so that it looks like the slope is actually blocking light. So our first slope is finished. Now let's go back into 2D editing mode and let's finish the second slope. This is going to be a slope suspended in midair that uh, leads from the first platform all the way up to the second one that's high in the air. So just like before, just draw out the uh, shape of your slope. This one's going to be basically the same width and length. And just like with this slope here, I'm going to go over out here in my void space and draw a sort of a thin dummy sector that is exactly as long as it and uh, this time horizontally and uh, vertically just sort of matches up with it here. Now that we have done this, go ahead and just like before, give one of its lines an action of 160 for 3D floor and since we have used tag 2 with our last slope, give this tag 3 and just like before make this solid set alpha to 255 so it's totally solid click OK and we have created our 3D floor give this uh, sector here a tag of 3 as well and just go back out to confirm that your 3D floor is in place and it is so now that our 3D floor is in place go back out and just like I told you before uh, create a tiny square where the uh, platform is that the slope's going to lead to. So this time the platform's going to be right here. So I'm going to create the tiny square on this side of it. Just like that. And go to the double sided line that divides the two. Right click that one line. Give it an action of 181 to make it a slope. And set both the uh, aligned floor and aligned ceiling to front. We have uh, just about completed it, so let's go back into 3D mode once more, or visual mode. And let's go over into our dummy sector to start working on this. So first, uh, the first thing you should normally do, 
or that I do at least, is select the uh, tiny square, the floor of it, and raise it up. This is going to define the uh, like the thickness of your slope. Mine's going to be about this thick, maybe a little bit thicker. It depends. But now that we have the uh, floor selected and we have it as about as thick as we want, select the ceiling too, and just raise it up here to the base of the platform, just like that. And this is a little bit too thick, so I'm going to make the floor go up. And as you can see, the thickness has decreased. And now, just like uh, the last time, we're going to finish up the rest of this. So go down here to, to where your floor slopes all the way down. Select this floor and scroll up with your mouse wheel. And you'll start to bring it up. I'm going to bring it up to about right there and stop. And then go back to our ceiling and bring it down. And once you do, it'll start to form the slope just check them and uh, I can't tell if the thickness is right or not it looks like uh, I might want to make this just a little bit thicker just like that and we now have created two 3d slopes so this first slope leads up to the first platform now we have a second slope that is literally suspended in midair you can walk underneath it or you can take it all the way up to this second platform. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and I'll apply the same textures all the way around, just the slime 14 texture. And just like before, since the slope is uh, over top of a, a sector, I'm going to go over into the slope's dummy sector. Uh, put my cursor here on the floor of the slope and change the light just a little bit to make it look as though it's casting a shadow. So now we have a, a realistic looking shadow under both slopes and that's all you have to do. So uh, you can use this method to create uh, great, great slopes and even improve your architecture as well since you can now uh, basically curve lines in midair or curve sectors in midair. So uh, after you've created it, this is what it should look like in-game while you play it in GZ Doom or Skulltag.